You're listening to The Long Game Podcast. I'm your host, Sandra Scaiano. So I've been making myself more visible as of late. You know, I've really been focusing on visibility and talking about it. Uh, I've been posting on social media and sending out my weekly email. Yes, the one that I had the big block about. So if you're not on my email list, hop on over to my website and sign up. And something amazing is happening. People are responding. (laughs) So I thought it would be fun to chronicle my visibility journey. You know, it's an accountability for me and can answer the question, how does it all work for you? So today I'm sharing an update and a few things that have happened since I started to focus on getting visible uh, about a month ago. So today we're talking visibility update number one. You're listening to The Long Game Podcast with Sandra Scaiano. In a world where everyone is doing, it's easy to get lost in a sea of comparison, secret tricks, and promises of overnight success. The Long Game is my approach to business, the actual day-in and day-out philosophy that you have to show up, you have to do the work, and there's no quick fixes for long-term success. I'm a web designer, digital strategist, and energetic thinker, and I'm here to share the process and lessons I experience with my clients daily who are going through the same struggles of building a business as you are. We'll hear from successful entrepreneurs sharing their long game strategies, and I'm fun, so we're going to have a little fun along the way too. Thanks for being here. Let's get to today's episode. Whenever we start on new endeavors, you know, there's always the abyss before us, right? The abyss of how long is this going to take? Whether it's weight loss or running, you know, we want to know when are we going to be fit? And in all the work that I've been doing on myself this past year, I have come to a very comfortable place where, you know, I'm not really thinking about the end result per se, but really focusing on the journey, you know, working on being consistent. Placing my focus here lets me just be in the moment, right? I'm just caught up in the doing. I'm not caught up in the outcomes because I know that if I keep consistent, the outcome will come one way or another. So it's been over a month now that I've been putting myself out there more and I've got a few thoughts to share. One happened just this weekend. Uh, This past weekend, I was away at my college homecoming. Um, I went to the football game. We had a tailgate planned with friends. I went to Rutgers University. So it was a big, fun event. And, you know, I was there with people who I have known some of them for 25 or 30 years at this point. And um, a lot of fun, right? We follow each other. We're friends on Facebook, all of that. And, you know, one woman said to me inside a group that we were talking, and she's like, I see you on Facebook. I see what you're doing. It's awesome. And so we, you know, I talked about my work a little bit and her husband said something like, how did, how did you end up there? Like, how did you get to that? You know, he is at his job for 20 plus years himself. Right. And he was like, it's so cool that you work for yourself and you're doing this. And I retold my story, you know, my, origin story of how I started this iteration of my company and and working for myself, right? Being uh, nine months pregnant and losing my job on a Friday and going into labor on a Monday. And then I didn't have the job to go back to. So I taught myself to code. And, and, you know, I really went over that story with them, these people who I've known for so long and, you know, known and kept in touch all through that. But it really dawned on me that we have to retell our story, right? They were so interested. And even though we were friends for so long, they didn't know the story. I thought I've shared this story many times. And I know I haven't shared it enough probably on Facebook or Instagram, but it really got me thinking like, wow, we need to retell our stories. You know, it's so important to share these stories. We think we've heard them or we've said them. And some of the people we've known the longest don't know the story. So, 
you know, but being visible and having that visibility more, you know, they brought up the whole subject to me because they were interested in what I was doing. So that's one thing, you know, answer that question and don't be afraid to share your story over again. Okay. And then I've been sending out my monthly email and, you know, we all know what a big hurdle this was for me to get over and get over the block of it. And, you know, one of the things that happened that was interesting is that, you know, I've had this email list that I've created, not very big at all. And, you know, I, I sporadically would send an email or two emails, uh, but never really consistently did it. So now that I'm sending emails consistently weekly, I had someone write me and say, you know, don't just put me on your list. And I really thought about that. I took that in because I thought, oh, wow, well, you signed up for my list, but you did it two plus years ago. So how would you even remember, right? Like, it's totally on me that I'm reinvigorating my list. And it's something to think about when we do go from inconsistent to consistent. Like, here I am showing up in these people's inboxes now. And... You know, some people just unsubscribe. But what was so interesting about this was that this person did not unsubscribe. They sent me a note and said, I don't want to be on your email list anymore, but I love what you do. And I want to hear more about how I can work with you. And I thought, oh my gosh, this is amazing, right? It's, it all worked. It all started working. The consistent showing up and saying what I do consistently started working. So I, of course, took this email and wrote back like, hey, I'm so sorry. You know, you did sign up for my list a while ago, but it's totally on me. And I just want some clarity. Like I I want to make sure I honor your request, right? And so she actually booked a call and, uh, you know, on my website because she had opened all of the emails that I had sent and just didn't want to get weekly emails anymore. But getting the weekly emails turned her on to exactly what my services were. So it's kind of ironic in that way, but it did make me really think about, wow, I'm showing up to people who may have not remembered. You know, some people, of course, they know who I am. I'm showing up in their inbox. It's fine. But that's really something to think about when you start doing something consistently and you're reinvigorating an older list that you've got to think about, you know, giving people that option and making it known and easy. I mean, I, of course, got to have the unsubscribe at the bottom, super clear, but it's something to think about and keep in mind. So just another point. I also want to talk about with the emails that people are responding to my emails with their story, right? You know, you send an email out and to get someone's their take, their perspective, that your ideas and what you wrote sparked something in them, right? That they're thinking about what they do and what's the bigger picture and what could be the bigger picture or the bigger share for them. So it just confirms for me that, you know, I love what I do, right? Six o'clock this morning, I'm responding to someone's email who really took the time to talk about a hobby that they have and how they're enjoying the whole process and reading my emails or making them maybe think about the process a little bit differently. And that's all it is really, right? It's about turning people on and ideas and what's possible. So I've really loved the communication that people have given me, the responses to the emails and all of that, right? And that that kind of builds up a momentum to keep going, you know, because you think about it, you look at your stats and you say, oh, not 100% of the people are opening their emails, which is totally fine. It totally happens. You know, I'm at a place where I had this list and I needed to start sending emails to the list really for the first time consistently. So, you know, there are people who, like I said, don't know me, I haven't reinforced the relationship. Some people who know me a long time, so of course they're going to open my emails. You know, my next step is to is to have this consistency, this consistent habit of sending emails 
in place so that I can start building and growing my list and, you know, getting more people on it who, who want to open them and want to hear from me and are interested in what I'm talking about each week, right? Get them on the list. So another thing that I did this week was I went to my first in-person event, all day conference in a while, right? In 18 months, it's been the first one. And I really loved what the host, the a brilliant pivot coach, Deb cummins Stellato of Think Courageously, she was the host of the event. And she talked about, you know, you've got to own it, right? You've got to own your visibility. Like for me, you've got to own whatever your piece is. So for me, it's starting to own my visibility. Here I am doing it. And part of what today's podcast is, is about me owning my visibility what I'm learning from it, being accountable on it. And she said, if you can't own it, there's the growth opportunity, right? And I loved that piece from her because that's where the the light is shining in for you to see, for you to focus on what you can't own. When you can't own something, you're fearful, you're not you know, standing proud behind it. There's this hesitation, you know, it could be all of those pieces. So think about what you aren't owning. And that is the piece where growth and what you could focus on and start working on. So, you know, I've known that for me, it's been visibility. So I've kind of laid out this plan for myself. And I have to say, I am super happy right now that I'm following through with it, right? Like I have learned enough in my days about consistency and making things a habit and setting myself up. I mean, here's one of the biggest lessons with the email block, right? I got over the block, but instead of just writing one email and setting it up and sending it out, I wrote six emails so that I got really into it. I wrote them all out so that I didn't have to worry about being consistent the next week. Shit, I don't have to worry about being consistent for six weeks, actually. And that really helped giving myself a runway. I gave myself a runway to success, right? And I knew that I had six weeks that I was going to get this out no matter what, because those were written. And that is part of it. And I started to own this visibility for myself and I set myself up for success. So, you know, those are my updates right now. There is no time frame of when anything's going to happen. I have not been doing this for a little over a month and then boom, I'm, you know, have some grand monetary uh, reward. It's really about making progress and being consistent and doing something at a steady pace. So I'm really happy to share this with you. I'm happy to share the lessons, right? Retell your story. You know, sharing your story is important to other people along the way. You know, think about if you are reinvigorating your list, there are people who haven't heard from you in a while and are wondering how they got on your list. And then, you know, people will respond with their stories and it is going to confirm that you are in the right place. So I can't wait to keep going forward. Again, if you are listening to this and are not receiving my emails, hop onto my website at sandrasky.com. You can sign up and I will start sending them to you right away. We send them every Friday morning, weekly, and they aren't just about the current week's podcast. I'm talking about all different things and different ideas and linking to different episodes to listen to where it makes sense and bringing on different ideas and insights. So hop onto the list if you aren't yet. And I'll look forward to talking to you next week. Thanks for joining me today. You can access more info in the show notes at thelonggamepodcast.net. If today's show connected with you in some way, please share it with your friends or hop on iTunes and leave me a review. Until next time, keep playing the long game.